we are here to discuss about this topic electricity before to start this topic i would like to congratulate all of you to be a part of class so before this topic electricity i would like to say this electricity is a part of physics and this electricity is coming from the main branch of electromagnetism means within physics there are five main branches within that from electromagnetism we came to know about this electricity actually this electromagnetism if we break this electromagnetism then we will get two things one is electro and another is magnetism within this electro there are also two part one is static electric or electrostat and the second one is kind electricity or electricity this one now why we will learn this topic before to start the main part of this electricity let's think about this uh, topic why we have chosen actually today in modern communications or in modern uh, days each and everywhere if we just look then for each and everywhere there are electricity like you know household purpose in industry purpose or in the laboratory purpose everywhere is electricity is necessary so so this electricity this topic we will learn about what is electricity means what is current what is potential difference why this current is moving from one point to another point even how we can assemble some electric circuit what are the components of electric circuit even we will learn about resistance and different type of numerical problem based on resistance as well as current okay so let's proceed with electric current electric current what is this electric current actually electric current means charge flowing through unit area per unit time or you may say that charge flowing per area through unit time if we consider this is a wire within this wire if we consider this thing as area cross section then through this area cross section how much charge will flow this charge flow per unit time will be current therefore suppose q amount of charge is flowing through this then we can say current i equal to q by t means this charge is flowing through this area within the time interval of t therefore current i will be q by t okay. so current is nothing but the charge flowing to a particular area per unit time so i can to q by t now what is this charge let us discuss this thing what will be the definition for this charge a charge is that physical quantity which will so a attractive or repulsive nature of same kind of object uh, i am repeating this once again charge is nothing but the physical properties of any object by which it can attract or repel same kind of object now this charge is mainly two kinds one positive and second is negative
Now, in general means, a positive charge is given by proton, whereas this negative is given by electron within the atom. Now, this proton and electron, about this uh, proton and electron, you all know from class 9 from chemistry. Now, this proton charge is positively 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs, whereas an electron charge is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So I am saying about C, this coulomb. What is this coulomb? Coulomb is nothing but the unit of charge. So unit of charge is coulomb. Okay. So let's discuss about the direction of current. So direction So before to start this topic, direction of current, remember one thing. Current means charge, a flow of charge. Means it is not necessarily the flow of electrons. Even what we are thinking that within the where current is flowing means electron is flowing it is also a wrong concept actually within that where field is propagating first and then a minute amount of distance traveled by each and every electron means this electron is actually moving very small distance okay now, within this topic, direction of current, we always consider the direction of positive charge is the direction of current. So, direction of positive charge is only the direction of current. The so direction of positive charge is only the direction of current. Remember this thing. Now, if we consider a where within this where there are lots of electrons. Let us assume these electrons are free right now and it is free from any type of potential or this is free it, it is free from any type of cell or battery so within this electrons whatever electrons is here this electron is stable no dear these electrons are not stable these electrons are randomly moving here and there within this where these electrons are moving randomly within this this velocity with which they are moving within this is known as thermal velocity now when we connect this where to a cell or a battery at that time some field is set up or you may say there is a potential difference now what is this potential difference we will discuss in next video so this potential difference for this potential difference all the electrons within this 
they acquired some new velocity. With that velocity, they are moving in a particular direction. Means all the electrons, these electrons, they suddenly stop their thermal velocity and they acquired a new velocity which is known as drift velocity. Now within this drift velocity, they are moving towards the positive pole. In general, this drift velocity is represented by V B. Now, this electrons is moving. Now, when this electrons is moving from this point or from this point to this point, at that moment, suppose this electron, we consider this electrons is moving from this point A to point B. As it is moving from A to B, then what will be this place? It will be vacant. This vacant place is nothing but in absence of electrons. Means in absence of negative charge. This in absence of negative charge we consider as positive. Which is also known as hole. Now this Holes, this position of holes is acquired by the second electron. Means this electron will acquire this place. This electron will acquire this place, means this position will be holes. After that, this will acquire this place and these positions will be holes. Means what? This electron is actually moving along this direction. This is the direction of electron. This is the direction of electron and this is the direction of holes. Now holes is nothing but positive and electrons is negative. Now holes is moving along this direction. So actually we can say this holes is moving from positive to this negative. And that's why we always say that the direction of current through a circuit is always from positive terminal to negative terminal.